Hey, Botheads, welcome back to another Transformers Talk Raw here on YouTube and Spotify for coming from either one. Appreciate you guys listening in. I'm your host, Matt. We're going to be going over the big uh, Hasbro Pulse or the Hasbro uh, fan stream they had a couple days back. I know I'm a little bit late on this news, and you've probably seen these figures before. Uh, you most likely have, but I'm going to give you my thoughts on each one, guys, and I also have a little bit of an announcement to make at the end of the segment, so stick around for that. But before I get into all that, if you haven't heard, check out those various links below. It's going to take you to all kinds of cool stuff, including our Facebook group, where you can come chat bots with us. Check out our Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Every patron gets double the entries and all the giveaways we have. And I'm going to be announcing the winner of our Yumei Megatron What's Inside Edition plush here on uh, the next segment. So, uh, yeah, check out that Patreon. There's all kinds of cool stuff, guys. Check out those links below. But the biggest reveal of Tuesday was the Titan class nemesis. And I'm actually very impressed with this figure. And I'm sorry, guys, if you don't, you know, some of my opinions you're not going to agree with. I'm not trying to be controversial, ruffle anyone's feathers. If you're excited for a figure, good for you. And I hope you get it real quick, guys. Uh, but don't uh, buy it from the stolen uh, people who sell them on eBay and various Asian websites. Get it the honest way, like a good Transformer fan, a member of the community. But uh, yeah, the Nemesis, it looks fantastic. I like how it looks next to the Ark. I, lo I love this figure, not because it's a Transformer, not because I like the robot mode, but because that ship mode is so iconic, such a rich part of Transformers history, and that's why I want it. But we also have the Legacy Armada Optimus that they revealed. And, uh, of course, some of the Thieves already have this one. They had it actually a couple weeks back before it was officially revealed at all. Uh, which is preposterous, and not just the usual giant thieves, but the uh, the sm the smaller channels that are soiling their reputation by acquiring and reviewing this stolen factory merchandise. So I suggest, guys, if you ever come across any of these guys, by the way, boycott their channel, if, especially if you enjoy my content, because I am adamantly opposed to these people. And if you aren't opposed to these people, or if you're uh, pro these people, uh, and you want to stick around, of course you're welcome to, but... Uh, I really do look down upon it, and you ain't going to like what I have to say a lot of the times. But anyway, this figure looks good. If you're excited about uh, Armada figures, Optimus is the guy to have. Of course, they have the Armada Megatron they revealed also. He looks great. Looks like a good homage to the original Armada Megatron. I wonder if he has some of those same gimmicks. I'm sure they went over that. However, I was at work and actually missed the stream entirely. Uh, because I guess Hasbro still assumes that none of us have to work on weekdays. Of course, there were hundreds or thousands in the chat there or watching, so I guess a lot of guys found the time to. I don't know how they did. But anyhow, um, moving on, we also have the Nemesis Leo Prime that was revealed. Great le recolor of a that character. Of course, I'm not familiar with that character. It's a Japanese Beast Force character, I believe, or a Neo. Uh, I mean, I know who he is, but I just I don't have any attachment to him. This one's not for me, but he does look good. And we have the Deluxe DevCon, who we're real excited about getting. He's kind of overdue. A heavy retool of that great Studio Series 86 blur. And, of course, the Speedia 500 blur. We also have Deluxe Axle Grease, a Decepticon Junkion that looks pretty good. The problem I have with this figure is it's there are no Decepticon Junkions. I don't have a problem with it being female, but it's an evil Junkion. That isn't, I don't, uh, but whatever. Then we have Deluxe Beachcomber. Now, I think this figure looks fine. I just, I don't think it looks better than the Power of the Primes Beachcomber. I think it looks equal to it. And that's the truth. I really think the Power of the Primes Beachcomber holds up great today, and this figure was not needed. Uh, but if you are excited for it, I hope you get it. Uh, but it is a good-looking figure. Uh, just $27 for a figure that we don't need. I'm not upgrading. I'm sticking with what I got. But, uh, yeah. We have, the, of course, the core class swoop. I'm not into these core class Dinobots. I know a lot of folks are. However, if they ever recolor these guys into Monstructor or another figure, I'd love to see that, and I would probably pick it up. Uh, but I know a lot of folks are excited for that, and it does look good. I'm just, it's not for me because of the scale. Uh, but we also have the figure I'm most excited about, actually, that was revealed on this day. And, of course, it wasn't really revealed because it was previous or re previously blah, 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 revealed or released. And that's the Voyager Dirge. And I'm just so happy that fans that missed out on this figure have an opportunity to acquire it again. Of course, I am one of the ones that did miss out on this that two-pack. And uh, most of the Seekers, actually all of the Seekers, besides the Shattered Glass Starscream, 
of the Siege and Earthrise molds I own, uh, except that one. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to get it. But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on these figures. Uh, as far as my um, announcement goes, I'm going to be having a special report here next or this coming weekend, and I'm also going to uh, announce the winner of our giveaway. So stick around for this weekend segment, guys. I appreciate all of you guys who take the time to watch. Leave that like. Choose to subscribe and support the channel, guys. Uh, I got love for you guys. God bless you. And tell all our one. This podcast is made possible thanks to the amazing support by our patrons. Click that link in the description below to help keep T-Talk Raw going strong. Thank you.